So I'm installing a car lift that I bought used and uh, of course the kit doesn't come with anchors and uh, shims and things like that. So I've had to buy those things separately. And the manufacturer specified this specific kind of Hilti concrete anchors, KV3. And I ran into a little confusion about installing these wedge anchors on, uh, at, well, let me say, ran into some confusion about these wedge anchors because installing a wedge anchor is a fairly straightforward process, a lot of videos on that. But when I look at these steps, one, two, three, and four here, on this step two, it looks like they're putting some epoxy or something down the hole. And well, they're not. That's some sort of air pump to get the dust out after you drill the hole. And of course, depending on what hole size you're drilling, your depths are gonna be different and so forth. But with these anchors, you don't install them all the way to the bottom. And uh, this is, uh, there's gonna be various ways to do this. You don't have to have this special pump. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Well, I'm drilling this hole, it's a three quarter inch one, takes a big rotary hammer. Of course, I stop occasionally and vacuum because I don't want that bit to overheat. I don't think there's a threat of that, but I don't want to have to buy two bits to do this job. So I, you know, I'll drill an inch or so and then I'll vacuum up the dust, but there's still some dust at the bottom of that hole. And the easiest way I found other than using compressed air, and my shop's not that far along yet, I don't have my air compressor installed, uh, but even that will make a mess. Best way I found is just get a straw and blow in it. Of course, that'll blow all up in your face, but I just turn the vacuum cleaner on while I'm doing it. If I didn't have to do it one-handed, I would have held that nozzle up closer to the hole and it wouldn't have made even this much mess. The other one came out really clean. You can probably tell from this video, it still made a big mess. But anyway, that's how I get the bottom of that hole clean. Um, and when you install that anchor, I know if you guys have installed one of these anchors before, you already know this, but sometimes there'll be a newbie that likes to tackle these jobs himself. The way that this works, and the reason you hammer that thing down in there is because this is a tight fit. That's a three quarter inch drill bit. These are three quarter inch anchors. You can see I, I just can't push that thing down in there. I have to force it and it's just barely fitting in that hole. You can see the bottom of this is tapered and then when you tighten it, that's what keeps it tight in that hole. I'll show you, I'll cut, cut back here after I get this thing prepped and show me hammering this in and so forth. So I got that cleaned out. I went ahead and installed my washer and nut. You need to make sure you've got at least six threads below the line of whatever you're anchoring it down because you need, potentially could need that much room to get this torque to spec uh, to get tightened in there. But basically, you'll set that in and then just hammer that down all the way. And I have not hit the bottom of that hole. If you hit the bottom of the hole, you've measured wrong and you need to uh, reassess what you're doing uh, and drill a deeper hole. But anyway, I'm down to the bottom and that's tight. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to pull that thing up now. And now I get it finger tight, but it kind of already is since I hammered it in. And now, after I get all these in here, I'm going to torque them all to spec. But anyway, that's how a concrete anchor works. Thanks.